James Call today, today's men's epe tableau was extremely challenging. You, however, managed to march your way through it yeah. and charge into the finals to win your first knack in how many years? I think the last one I won was in 2007 in Miami. 2007. Against Corwin Duncan in the finals. Wow. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Contrast in the weather, contrast yeah, sure. in the location. <laughs> Certainly times have changed. Yeah. Hugely exciting though in the emotion yeah. showed. Tell us what you were experiencing. Um, this was a fun tournament because I, I think I stopped trying to do the things that I knew I probably couldn't do anyways. And I just focused on kind of what the defense was giving me. Essentially, it's a football analogy. And um, letting the fencing come as I was one of the hardest and easiest thing in the sport is kind of letting things just happen and not being really judgmental about what they look like and how they happen. Curtis McDowell, your opponent in the final, extremely challenging competitor who is, uh, you know, really dominating in the junior points, doing well in NCAAs, in the Knacks as well. Um, you guys were trading points back and forth. What was your mindset and where was your focus? My focus was to keep the bout as simple as possible. Uh, Curtis is really dynamic. He really is. He can do a whole lot, and he can do a whole lot from a lot of different places. Um, so in that sense, it's hard to kind of put in a box. So I, I just tried to see what he was going to give. And if he was going to push, I knew I had to, to push back so he couldn't go march down the strip and hit me. He still did it at times, but... Just my, my whole idea was just slowing down. Um, got some good touches late, and then he got a really nice one to make it overtime. And the overtime touch, I just... One light. Just one light, yeah, that's pretty cool, yeah. 